Alright guys, welcome back to another one. In today's video, we have an amazing mod showcase to take a look at. Today, we're going to be taking a look at all of the Kingdom Hearts 2 drive forms in Kingdom Hearts 3. Previously, I have showcased the Valor, Final, and Anti-Form mods in the game. Since then, the remainder of Kingdom Hearts 2's drive forms have been created. So I want a video that showcases all of them in action. But on top of that, there is also a mod that brings the Kingdom Hearts 2 drive system into the game and was created specifically because all of these forms are now available for Kingdom Hearts 3. This was created by Jack. It brings the drive system into the game with working gauges, with the the number next to the gauge. You'll also notice that my heads up display resembles that of Kingdom Hearts 2's. This is a separate mod as well, the Kingdom Hearts 2 heads up display mod. And now you'll notice that links have been replaced with drive at the bottom of the command menu. So when we go into this, we'll notice all of the Kingdom Hearts 2 drive forms, bar that of limit form. Limit form is the only drive form that currently doesn't have a mod, though we do have second form which is quite similar to it. And if you really do want a limit form experience, there is a mod out there that changes Sora's base combo to that of something that resembles limit forms. Bars of the drive gauge are acquired in order to activate a drive form. Valor and Wisdom will consume three drive gauges. Master will consume four and Final will consume five. And you can see that while you're in a drive form, the gauge will slowly deplete and the numbers will tick down. Whenever you collect focus orbs, the drive meter will increase just as the focus gauge would. You'll notice that there isn't a revert option though. In order to revert, you need to go back into the drive menu and select the drive form you're currently in. However, what's interesting about this is you can actually switch to another drive form while already currently in a drive form. Though for when you revert, it will tally up the total cost of both drive forms you've just gone into. So for example, if you go into Valor first and then switch over to Master while in Valor, you're going to consume a total of seven bars. Furthermore, the drive system mod incorporates the anti-form points mechanic that's in Kingdom Hearts 2. The way that anti-form would work in Kingdom Hearts 2 is the more you use your drive forms, secretly behind the scenes, this point count would go up, and when the point count hit a certain value, you would go into anti-form. So it works the exact same way here. So let's take a look at the forms. We're first of all using the Kingdom Hearts 2 Sora mod created by Richie 5 This ensures that we have all of the drive form outfits from Kingdom Hearts 2. It should also be noted that all of the forms here are separate mods created by various mod creators that go in tandem with the Kingdom Hearts 2 drive system mod. First up is Veloform, complete with dual wielding the Star Seeker and King Kingdom Key. Now you'll absolutely need to have the Kingdom Key equipped in order for the Star Seeker to appear, otherwise Sora will be dual wielding an invisible Keyblade. This quite literally imports all of Veloform's animations from Kingdom Hearts 2 into KH3 to have a pretty authentic feeling Veloform experience. It's quite insane how well this works to a point where it almost feels like you're literally using Veloform here in the game. Both the ground end aerial combos are here and they work pretty fantastically. We've got the down slam ground combo finisher which looks fantastic here in Kingdom Hearts 3 as well as the aerial finisher where Sora performs the really cool looking cross slash attack. Now in Kingdom Hearts 2 partway through a combo you can press square to activate the finisher early. It's the same thing here in Kingdom Hearts 3 though we press circle partway through a combo and rather than the down slam finisher attack Sora will perform his double veloform aerial spin move. If circle is pressed during an aerial combo he'll perform his cross slash early. It's cool because there's quite a bit of tech you can play around with by using circle in your combos. We've also got the increased movement speed for moving around. Yeah, it properly works here. And here in Kingdom Hearts 3, you can guard while you're in Velo using Double Forms Guard. Next up, we have Wisdom Form. So I never ended up doing a showcase of this, so I was really excited to check it out. And it works so good here in Kingdom Hearts 3. This shouldn't come as a surprise because it was created by Sora 101 Ven, responsible for the Final Form mod. And while Wisdom Form isn't that popular due to it not being that useful in comparison to the other forms that are at your disposal in Kingdom Hearts, to, it is without a doubt one of the coolest forms next to that of Final. So to see it here in Kingdom Hearts 3 working basically the exact same with the imported Kingdom Hearts 2 animations is a joy. The thing I like the most about this is how good it feels to control Sora while he's shooting. It feels ultra responsive here in Kingdom Hearts 3 more so than it does in Kingdom Hearts 2. I think they really took the blueprint of what they did with Wisdom Forming Cage 2 and refined it a lot 
for Mirage Staff here in KH3, as Wisdom Form, if you're not using the Drive System Overhaul mod, will just replace the Mirage Staff, which the movement of Mirage Staff is very similar to that of Wisdom Form. A great addition to this is there's now, finally, Aerial Combos for Wisdom. It's very surprising that Square Enix didn't incorporate Aerial Combos for the form in Kingdom Hearts 2. It further added to people just not wanting to use this form too much. It works great here and even has a finisher. Quick Run is, of course, part of the form if you hold down square. Air Dash's animation is different. It's now using the Keyblade Slide animation. And I love the new animation used for when Sora jumps and performs Double Flight. It looks so cool. However, the one thing you're not going to get is how magic works while in Wisdom Form. Sora will just perform magic normally. You should be aware about two features, though, that you will lose if you are activating Wisdom Form via the Drive System mod. Normally, this form mod is meant to be activated through Mirage Star. When Sora dodges, he creates Mirage versions of himself. Now, this remains here in the Wisdom Form mod, but there's a few tweaks. The first one is Sora can freely move around with the Mirages activated. Usually with Mirage Staff, you have to stand still while you have your Mirages activated. If you're not currently locked onto an enemy, the Mirage versions of Sora will just act on their own accord and shoot whatever's closest to them. And now, if you're timing your button presses correctly, the Mirages can shoot up to five times quicker than normal Mirage Staff, meaning that this whole system becomes way more useful. The other thing here is a brand new animation and mechanic for when you transform into the form itself. Look at this, look how badass it looks. However, so long as you have at least one MP in your MP gauge, transforming into Wisdom Form will replenish your MP. Next up is Master Form, the form that combines both magic and strength. Look at it, in all its glory, with the Kingdom Hearts 2 effects and everything. Now the supported Master Form for the Drive System mod is Flaragra's version. It's still a fine version of Master Form for Kingdom Hearts 3. However, the one that I'm going to recommend here is Mayo. Now, the only thing about this is if you use Mayo's version, it means that you won't be able to activate Master Form through the Drive menu. Rather, you'll have to activate it through Kingdom Key's second form. Mayo, though, has done an insane job of porting over, and I literally mean almost pretty much porting over Master Form into Kingdom Hearts 3 to a point where it feels basically one-to-one, -one, more so than the rest of the form mods here. This is super impressive stuff. It's coming from the same person who did the Kingdom Hearts 2 moveset for Kingdom Hearts 3. If you guys haven't checked that out, please be sure to do so. I'll leave the video link in the description down below. Yeah, you can quite literally play as Kingdom Hearts 2 Sora in KH3. It's wicked stuff. Master Form's complete combo system is working here, even with the Devastation finisher, and it works correctly with the Magnet Pull effect. We've got the slightly faster uh, running speed along with that aerial dodge is here I prefer how aerial dodge feels to use in Mayo's version uh, than the other version normally master form doesn't have a guard well this version does it's a small reflect barrier along with a counter and something that isn't present in that other version is master forms changes to magic so magic behaves differently when used in master form and it works the exact same here in Kingdom Hearts 3 next is anti form we've looked at this in the past it swaps out Rage Form for KH2 Anti, it's here in its glory with some additional features. And yeah, I don't know what happened here, for some reason I've still got the Velo Form outfit on while I'm in Anti Form, but it looks fantastic, so I decided to keep this clip. It's the same Anti Form goodness you know and love from Kingdom Hearts 2, but it's accelerated a bit here in Kingdom Hearts 3. Zero 101 Ven did a great job of keeping that traditional Anti Form experience, but just adding additional flair to it. Like being able to halt time if the focus gauge is maxed out while using anti-glide. Or if the focus gauge is maxed out and you use the anti-charge triangle prompt, you can either anti-heal or anti-break. If you want more of an in-depth look at anti-form, I'll leave the video link to my spotlight on it in the description below. And lastly is final form, still to this day, my absolute favorite Kingdom Hearts form. Again, Sora 101 Ven absolutely took this home and delivered an awesome final form experience for KH3. This replaces out ultimate form and gives you that complete final Final Form experience. We've got the Final Form Glide here with the spinning keyblades that actually can inflict damage. The spinning keyblades for when Sora jumps. Reflect now on guard with an awesome looking counter attack. And all of the absolutely ridiculously strong attacks that come with Final Form. Ah, it's over! 